findings from an EU-funded project, Wind Barriers, have revealed how long it takes to obtain consent to build wind farms in EU member states. The details were released at the European Wind Energy Conference and Exhibition in Warsaw. Wind Barriers has identified that it takes over 42 months to uh, have a building permit for a wind farm on average in Europe. This is much, much too long if we are to meet the ambitious renewable energy targets. In some countries, it takes over four years. This is too long. We have to bring this down. It can be done in less than 20. And it seems there's a big gap between countries. Italy, Belgium, UK are one of the, are the countries that are doing the best in terms of administrative procedures, while Spain and Portugal, which countries that are quite big in terms of megawatts installed and are, are having um, something like 50 over 50 months. If the EU target of achieving 20% renewable energy by 2020 is to be met, experts argue that wind farm developers will have to plan well ahead. When it takes you three and a half years to, uh, to get just your building consent, then you really need to be uh, handing in the application in, 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 in a well time before 2020. So you have to hand them in in maybe 2015 or 16 in order to have the needed turbines uh, to achieve the 2020 goals. It's hoped that the Wind Barriers project will highlight the need for action to key decision makers. We hope that member states are going to use this report to pinpoint what are our problems in terms of getting administrative barriers for the wind energy se sector and grid access barriers for the wind energy sector in my country. It's extremely important that uh, those barriers are addressed if those countries are going to meet their renewable energy targets. The next issue to be studied by the Wind Barriers project is the length of time it takes for wind farms to get connected to the grid.